morning. My name is Brad Smith. I'm the district attorney of the Piedmont Judicial Circuit, which encompasses Barra County, Jackson County, and Banks County. This is Patricia Brooks. She's my chief assistant district attorney. We will be handling this case of Colt Gray and Colin Gray. We just had the uh, first appearance hearing, which is standard for people when they're charged with crimes here in Georgia. Um, I am bound by ethics or constrained by ethics not to talk about the facts of the case, um, but I wanted to answer any questions about you may have about the process or the charges. Um, the next step in the process will be grand jury. The grand jury has already been in panel and have been hearing cases. Um, their next scheduled meeting is going to be October 17th. That is closed to the public, um, so you will not be able to see that. Um, after that, he will have a scheduled arraignment. I don't have a date for that yet. Um, and then we'll start the trial process at that point. There will be additional charges on Colt Gray. Um, when he was taken into custody on Wednesday, we did not have the identities or the conditions of the other victims. So we were not able to charge on those offenses. So when the evidence comes in and they've been have a chance to heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually, we will get with them and there will be additional charges that address the other victims in the case. I do not know if there will be charges on Colin Gray. There may be, depending on how the investigation comes forward. Um, but you can anticipate there will be new charges on Colt Gray because we've never addressed the other victims in the school. Um, there will be, when those charges come out, another um, first appearance hearing. Because of that, I would rather not have the charges come out piecemeal. We will probably wait until the investigation is complete um, and then do it one time. 